This video is brought to you by viewers like you and people that support our website, codingphase.com. Go check it out. Over 20 courses in there that's going to guide you to become a developer from the beginning to becoming a pro. Guys, so now let's talk about basically method arguments, okay? Because there's so many different ways that you could use them. And what I've shown you from the beginning was the easiest way. And the reason why I left this for later on is for you guys to actually decide which way you guys want to use it. Okay. We could define a method and say define my name. And then here we could pass in the arguments of name. Let's say my name is name. Okay. And then here we could end it. All right, and we could say my name is Joe. All right, I'm going to put in a comment here, and then we're gonna say example one. All right, you could have your method, and this is what your method will return. My name is Joe. All right, now if you wanted to have a default. I'm going to copy this. If you wanted to have a default, you can come here. Copy this one more time. Sorry. You could say example tool with default. You can come here and say name and then pass in the name of the person. And let's just say we're not passing in no argument. If we come down here. Uh, I'm going to put the number two just so you could know. It says, my name is Joe, and this is example two. All right. So what we did was we didn't have no argument there. So if the user didn't put an argument, or let's say another developer didn't put an argument, didn't pass anything, basically our default is the name of Joe. Okay. If I come back down here and I change it, I'll say, Charlie then it goes back to normal and it says my name is Charlie all right so let me delete this this is the example two with default now let's come down here example three let's say you wanted to pass in an argument you can come here and instead of using parentheses all you have to do is just put in a space and put in the name of your argument so then here, all you have to do is say, my name is, I'm going to put in the number so we could actually see which ones are, are being called. All right, so my name three, name three, you can actually come here and basically just pass it down like that. So it says, Wrong number of arguments given zero expected one. I believe that's because of the namings. So we're going to basically name each method with a number. So we say define me my name one, my name two. All right. And sure run. There you go. So example three is basically you had defined the, the name of the, the method, right? And then from there you have your argument. If I want to declare other arguments, all I have to do is putting a comma and a space and say uh, age, and I could put here like this, age is, I can put in this, and put in age, I'm going to put an EX on all of these, so we know that that number is coming from the example. All right. So we come here, put in the age of 23. And hold on. Sorry. It's not supposed to be dollar sign. It's hashtag. So there you go. So there's the third one. So we're saying my name is Joe. H is 23. And this is example three. So as you can see, instead of us using parentheses, 
we could just literally just say hey put a space and then put in the age all right if we want to put in the default we can come in and just say default let's say 21 and then if we don't put any age automatically 21 is the default all right so that's how you do it that's one way of doing it all right and then all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this here and we're gonna paste it here we're gonna say example four change it to mining four we're gonna put in mining four and then what's interesting is we're going to say name and then like that with a colon and then here we're going to say name with a colon and then age with a colon all right now to basically uh, be able to pass in arguments to this uh, new method that we created we have to also use the same names that we use here okay so we're gonna say name and we're passing in the name of that argument so here we're gonna have to put in Joe and then here we're gonna say uh, 30 right so if we do that this basically make sure this is four it says my name is Joe age is 30 example four all right now what's cool about this having named arguments is very simple if we're gonna copy this we're gonna put it down here say example five and then we're gonna say with default and mixed order okay so what we're going to do is we're going to put in five here five here we're going to put in example five here and then instead of how we have it here where you see how we have one argument here and we have to put in joe there okay or in this example we say okay my name three then we have to put in name and then we have to put in the age and it's usually right next to each other right because we're using named arguments we can actually mix match this we could come here and say something like this like i could put in here and i live in i live in let's say location put an example all right so instead of us having it in order i could mix match this i could come here and put in location here and put in New York City all right put in a comma and I could pass in like this and say location all right and this will still work so you say my name is Joe and age is 30 and I live in NYC I can also move this thing here from this area put it all the way in the front Oops. put it all the way in the front so that's the beauty of having named arguments okay because now you could come in and say hey I want to pass in this arguments but now you don't have to put it in order you don't have to come in and be like, oh yeah how was the order of this method it's like nah it's like if you remember you have to put in uh, location and you remember that you have to put in uh, the age let me put this right okay so yeah so you don't have to put this thing in order where you say okay I passed in the first argument of name then I pass in the second argument of age and then the third argument of location like you don't have to keep in that order you could literally say hey location age and then the name it's like as if you know if you forgot what was the order named arguments is the best way all right guys so you decide which way you want to do it if you're like one of those guys that's used to doing it with parentheses because you use functions and other languages it's very easy you're like okay cool i'm just gonna do it like this if you decide hey i'm gonna do it um basically my default variables here you could do it like that now if you want to try the ruby way you will use it more like this okay if you want to make your life easier because you don't want to remember the order of your arguments 
you will use something like this, like named arguments. Okay. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.